We know that in an alkaline state, our bodies are in a state of optimal health, that there can be no disease state or symptoms. So it's our, um, we, it should be our responsibility and our will every day to try to get our bodies in an alkaline state. In order for our bodies to shift into an alkaline state, the best thing we can do to eat, to, to do is to eat an alkaline diet. Coupled with that, we can also promote alkalinity in our body by breathing and exercising. So there is this movement of oxygen to hydrogens and at the cellular level, that exchange is being made to optimize our health and shift our bodies into more of an alkaline steak. So follow with me today. We're going to be breathing a lot. We're going to be doing a lot of intentional movements so that we can get our bodies into more of an alkaline steak. So let's go ahead and stand nice and tall. Inhale, sweep our arms up overhead and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. If you have any aches and pains, see if you can Exhale out the pain out of your body. Inhale up and exhale. And this time, inhale your arms up overhead. Grab a hold of the left wrist and pull up, expanding your rib cages on both sides. And bend over to the right side as you gaze up toward the ceiling and breathe into the left lung space. Inhale and exhale. Draw the navel to the spine. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, pull up and exhale. Bring it back and let's bring our arms down. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. This time grab a hold of the right wrist with your left hand and pull up and gaze up. Push your hips to the right, upper body to the left and gaze up. Inhaling deep into the right lung space and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and bring it back and bring your arms back behind you. Interlace them behind you and pull your chest up and gaze up. And really stretch into the front side of your body and back. Let's go ahead and do a little breaths in and exhale. Bend your knees. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Good. Let's go ahead and step our feet wide. And let's start out with our toes turned out about 45 degrees, right? And then I want you to sink your hips down and come back up. We're going to do this with our breath. We're going to go ahead and inhale and exhale. Bend your knees down and inhale and exhale. Just easy movement with your breath. Inhale and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. Three more. Inhale up, and exhale, and inhale up, and exhale. And stay down low for a second. Have your hands on your hips. Tuck your tailbone slightly under, and really pull the navel to the spine. Let's lift your right heel up and lower it. Left heel up and lower. Right heel up and lower, left heel up and lower, right heel up and lower, left heel up and lower, both heels up if you can, and lower and slowly come back. And heel toe your feet back, feet shoulder width apart, inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, and exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. All right. So now what I want you to do is have your hands on your hips. See if you can weight shift over to the right foot. 
and lift the left knee up. And see if you can have it so that the left knee is in line with the left hip. Right, left ankle right under the left knee and hold steady. Just tuning into your body and see how your right foot is absorbing all the weight on that side and really testing your balance, right? And if you want, you can bring your arms out to the side and that's going to give you a lot more. It's going to make it easier for you to balance. And then slowly place that left foot down and shake your knees out side to side. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and exhale. Place your hands on your hips and lift your right leg up. Same thing. And see if you can really stand nice and tall, drawing the navel to the spine. Really checking yourself, chest wide open that you're not hunched over. Right knee is right in front of the right hip, and then the right ankle is right under the right knee. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Feel that shakiness on the left foot, right? And those of you who need, pull your arms out like this. You can do this. And pull that right foot down. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and back. Inhale up and exhale. Good. Now let's step your right foot out and bend your knees a little bit. And upper body sort of comes forward, right? And let's pull our right shoulder down to midline. As you gaze back, look back over your left shoulder and come back. Pull your left shoulder forward and gaze back and pull. And same thing again on the right side, right shoulder forward, gaze back and forward and left and back. And slowly walk your hands back. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and back. One more time. Inhale up and exhale. So see if you can do this and don't get discouraged if you can't. Over time, you'll be able to do this. So see if you can walk your hands down, walk your hands down to a point where you can have both hands on the floor and see if you can sink all your hips all the way down. Ooh, right? That's a little hard. And see if you can come back and place your bum down on the floor. <laughs> Good job. However you got to the floor, this is where we're going to meet. So flop your wings like your knees up and down, up and down. Sitting up nice and tall. As I always say, when we're sitting on our bum, feel free to have a yoga block underneath your sits bones to raise your pelvis up. Any type of a surface or blanket or a pillow might, might do. And that's going to create this openness in your pelvis. Um, so see if you can go ahead and do that. And that's for those of you who don't have the flexibility enough in your hips. We're so tight and hunched all the time that we need a little bit of a help to open up, right? Take a deep breath in and exhale forward. Keep your spine nice and tall or nice and straight. And take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Come back. Let's pull your right leg straight. Bring your left heel in towards your Rowan, sit up nice and tall. We're going to twist over to the left side. Take a deep breath in and exhale. One more time. Take a deep breath in and exhale. You're going to go ahead and bend into the right elbow. Lift your left arm up and breathe. And stretch into that left side torso. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Any type of movements like this really allows you to like detoxify all the toxins out of respective joints and your muscles, which makes it so that we get all the acidic toxic chemicals out of those joints and then makes our blood overall in a more alkaline state, right?
So that's why the detox programs are so good, because we're able to detoxify all the um, acidic compounds out of our body. Movement helps us to do that. Okay, anything that enhances m metabolic activity within our cells is a good thing for us lupus patients. So we're going to do the exact opposite. Go ahead and pull your right heel in, straighten the left heel out, okay? Draw that right heel toward your groin, sit up nice and tall, twist over to the right side, take a deep breath in, and exhale. Slowly bend into the left elbow. Do what you can. Lift your right arm up and stretch away from the right torso, right sit bones, and opening up onto the right side. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Come back. And let's go ahead and bring both heels in front of us. And then let's just shake both knees, alternating knees, bend and straight, bend and straight. And then push both heels away from you, sit up nice and tall. Straighten your knees to the extent that you can, because oftentimes when our muscles are really tight, that means it's really acidic. And whenever it's acidic, it's very tight and bound, right? So we want to circulate the toxins out of those muscles. This is why moving, moving easily and methodically is key. And it helps to flush out those toxins. So sit up nice and tall and see if you can bring your belly to the front thighs. From here, see if you can relax your forehead onto your shin and slowly extend the heels away from you as you take a deep breath in and exhale and push. Take a deep breath in and exhale. 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 Walk your hands back. Let's bend both knees, feet flat. Bring your left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Keep your knee square toward the front and twist back and gaze back. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Look forward and come back. Right elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist back. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. All right, sit up nice and tall, however way you're comfortable. We're going to do last few cleansing breaths. So inhale your arms up overhead. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale, gently place your hands palm side up, sitting up nice and tall. Take, close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, and slowly exhale. Just tune into your body. You might have sort of this buzzing sensation from working and moving the joints that you're not used to moving and working. So just absorb that. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Take a deep breath in 
and exhale. Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want you to remember throughout the day, movement is key. Flushing out the toxins. We don't want to stagnate any that any of the toxins into our muscles and joints. That can be so dangerous for us. So keep on moving. Keep showing up here. Everything is archived on our YouTube channel, or you can scroll through our Facebook page. You can find me at lupusrebel.com, alkalinewellness.com. We've got podcasts every week. We're going to be talking more about alkalinity this week. So I will see you shortly.